Hello everybody, welcome back to Scrappy Adam and welcome to another 30 days of sketches and dotty about flare prompts for day 5 March the 5th already guys So today's sketch is this one which is a lovely sketch from Amy Cattenbelt which was done for the Spoonful of Scraps Facebook group which is a recipe challenge group and it's got the sort of torn elements here and here and here then we've got like a vertical design with chunks or strips of pattern paper and a photo and title here and then three defined I guess uh, clusters these are florals I won't be using florals today's prompt for Dotty about flair which coincides with 30 days of sketches it's sort of a companion to it is a white background so I will be using the sketch and today's prompt to complete this layout I am using the brand new Believe in Magic collection from Cartabella and it is gorgeous so it's traditional Cartabella the paper is amazing and it's got it's a bit vintagey retro but Disney Disney themed rather so I've got the three chipboards I've got the stamps I don't think we'll use them today and I've got the brads puffy stickers and enamel dots so that is what I have and today is also a very special hop which is all about sequins because sequins are obviously I am a big fan because hence speak of scraps and they are probably the one of the biggest I guess and I stocked them at Dotty about flair so for today's hop when in doubt add sequins I am going to use Disney sequins okay so I have got this little packet here which I'm going to create a little shaker pocket out of I guess so let's get cracking I've already chosen my papers I do have two of most papers I may have more of a couple or rather I need to get more because they are amazing like look at that guys it's incredible I absolutely love this collection so much okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this paper as my background which is a white background in my opinion it has some spots on it this is the multi journaling cards because it's the B side of this which I do love but I do have another one and I sometimes struggle to use them so I'm just gonna dive in and use this straight away and it is a white background yes it's got some color it's still white so we're going for it and then I'm gonna focus on the stars so I think we're gonna have red yellow and black for our sort of strips and I think we may make our shaker pocket out of the yellow one so on the sketch it's centered and it looks hmm, maybe five inches five six seven eight nine ten eleven yeah so five inches is what I'm starting with and we'll see <coughs> excuse me oh god I'm very rude I do apologize we'll see where we go to then so I'm gonna cut the, cut the cut the branding strip off our sheet Cartabella paper is just amazing I love touching it and it's textured and heavyweight and all kinds of amazing okay so we're gonna go let's cut the branding strip off actually I love this as well with all the word phrases on adventure passport magical memories it's amazing um, and I got this collection at hey little magpie who have the whole collection last time I checked it was all in stock as well I'm not sure it's gonna stay that way because it is absolutely beautiful okay yeah so we're gonna go for five inches so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna dive in and cut five and a half inches on all of these and then we can get rid of them and the castle which I like the way they've done the castle because it's Cinderella castle ish because obviously copyright means they can't do it they have to be very very careful but I'm so happy Cartabella have a Disney collection to my knowledge they never have before I've certainly never had one so it was a nice addition to my Disney collection I've just seen these tickets as well they're amazing I love the font they've used and I love the addition of the two blues 
So they've got the dark Mickey blue like this, but then they've got the light blue as well. Can you tell I just love it? <laughs> so, I think I might change my mind on the sequins and not do a pocket and do my sort of clustered border. Yes, I think we will. So let's revert back to our sketch just to make sure. So we've got a chunky, two chunky ones, a medium, a small and a tiny. So I think we'll have a red and a yellow as chunky. So let's go for one, two, three, four, five. So three, six, seven, eight, nine. No, so we'll have to go for, let's go for two and a half. And let's put it straight. So we've got one of them. And I think we'll have a black as well. I just love any black background with stars. Has me straight away. And this one is one of the best. It really is. Okay, so two and a half there. So we've got those two. Then we've got, so on the sketch again, it's the same pattern paper looking at this because it's just, Amy has just separated it to do the sketch. I'm using different ones, loads of different ways. You could use washi, you could use embellishments and just have the clusters of embellishments. You could have the same paper, you could have a sort of design paper that is a big icon and separate it. So many different ways you could go with this sketch. I just love it. I wasn't, I, I will admit, I wasn't keen on it when I first saw it. I was like, mm, no, that's not for me. But now I'm starting to do it. I actually quite like it. Okay, then we're going to have a two inch. So we've got five, six, seven. And I think we'll have, I don't know what this is. That's one, so half an inch. And let's have a couple of one inch as well. So I may end up adding more strips and it all depends how we go. What I might do actually for this little strip at the top, I might actually use that for the sequence. Thinking about it. Let's see where we go. So let me just double check if we need any more. Okay, so I'm just randomly putting them on. That's perfect. Um, I am documenting another photo. This is of us at Chef Mickey's. It's a Disney photo. I think I have scrapped this before, but I really like it and I want to do it again. Quite simply. Okay, so we're going to go like so. And I'm going to see if we can make it a four. I don't think we will be able to. Let's see. Da, 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 da. No. So let's go four and a half. There we go. I didn't get the small pad for this collection. I'm now wishing I had. So I could really do it now. Really do with it. So these are sparklets. So they have lots of different things in it. They've got the Mickey heads, the little domes, sequins, all sorts of different things. So I think at the bottom, I guess you didn't fill this up again. Let's start with a black piece. Now I do want to get it in the middle. So, so this is the middle. So that's going to go there. Then we'll have our big red piece. And that's going to go there. Then we'll have our bigger but smaller yellow piece. Which is going to go there. So it's pattern on pattern on pattern. 
but I quite like it guys, I really do. Then I'm not going to go with like black, red, yellow, black, red, yellow. I do want to mix that up. So I'm just going to add a bit more there. And there. So that's going to go there. Then we'll have black. What we might actually be able to do is use the yellow strip and the sequins. Okay, so there's all sorts of places where you can get sequins. Rachel Tolman, Talman, who organises these hops, the once a month hops, does have a store which I will link down below. I think it's racheltalman.com where you can purchase lots of pretty sequins. I also stock Spiegel Mom scraps at Dotty About Flair. If you're in the States, you've got Spiegel Mom scraps, of course, and you can use Adam15 to save a little bit of money on your order. And there are many others. There's Buttons and Galore, who do these kind of ones. They do sparklets and something else. Okay, so that is the base of our layout. I'm going to do a chunk here. And let's get that on right away. Okay. So it's going to be, I'm going to do quite a chunky one. And this is kind of where I have left the sketch behind because I have added a lot more to this than the sketch calls for. And I'm just going to go round and round with the Nouveau because I really want to get that covered. Okay. Pop a bit more here. So you do use a lot of glue, but I just love the look of this. Okay, so that should do that. And then what I will probably do is I'll go away, let this dry and come back and we'll build our layout from it. Just because it's quite a big, big part. Okay, so I'm spreading that right across so I don't run out. There we go. And I'm not, I'm not being like too careful where the Mickey heads go or anything. That's all fine. So we're going to do this. And then I'm just going to gently lift that up to see where we need some more. There we go. So I need a bit more there. So I'm just going to pop some glue on top there. And then add some more of these there. Okay, and now what I'm probably going to do is let that dry before I do anything else and try and force anything else there. And then we'll come back and pop this layout together. It's got all sorts of different things in this. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Okay guys, I will be back in a jiffy when this is a bit dry. So that's all the sequins stuck. And I'm loving how that's looking, let me just show you. So it's a mix of the Mickey heads and all the sparkles and bling. And I just think it adds that little bit of something. And I think this sketch is actually the perfect way to get that used. So I pulled out some Bramble Fox Disney products. So we've got this little frame and this one. And then we've got Magical Memories and this little border piece that has the Epcot, Hollywood Studios, Magic Kingdom, the castle, the mini, and all of that. And I did wonder whether these would work. So we'll have a play with that. Oh, 
I have cut my photo a bit and that's going to go there and I don't think I'm going to mat it either so let's cover that and I have filled my tape gun at last okay so I'm going to have this sort of poking out here I really actually love this sketch once I'd got out of what sort of patterns were on the sketch and I always say it don't think you have to use what's on the sketch but I was like thinking oh no I don't want to do that once I've got out of that I really love this and I will be using this sort of design again for sure the other thing that I didn't get with this collection was a sticker book and I'm kind of regretting it now but there we go so I would love to use this so I'm going to have a play with it So let's see if we can get, I kind of thought maybe one of these frames would work as a bit of a embellishment cluster area. So I'm just going to get the film off. There we go. But then oh, I've also got the title quite like that there. Okay. I don't want to use too much black. I've got some flare and I've also got epoxy flare from the February release. So, let's move this. Let's have a look at the chipboard and this. So we've got magical. We could have this banner piece go in there, actually. That might work quite nice, is they? Oh, they're individual pieces. Okay. Um... That's a bit too big, that's one piece. That's the only thing with Echo Park slash Cartabella. I wish sometimes that they would die cut the stickers so that they're not just big blocks because sometimes the big block isn't what we need. So, I'm gonna try this banner. So let's try and find the rough, rough, rough middle. I don't know why I just did that. I am clearly in a silly mood, guys, so you've got silly Adam today. Okay. So then we've got these, so... Oh, I quite like that yellow and blue together there. It's... I, I never like to talk about political things, but it's very Ukraine colours. And it's quite... Thing close to my heart because Chris's mum is Russian and his gran is in Russia so it's very worrying okay so I'm not keeping the banner shape as such because obviously I don't want to pull it too far up but okay I quite like that so we've got magical up there and I've used a banner guys you know what I'm like with the banners okay now, uh, I wonder if that would work there. Let's see. I quite like that there. I know it covers some of Mickey, but we could bring it down a bit, I guess. Sort of there. I'm going to leave that there for a minute. Let's see what we can do. Okay. But I do also have the chipboard frames, and I did wonder whether this blue one might have worked to bring some of the blue. Again, Echo Park, Cartabella chipboard. Why do they do it to us? Not a fan at all. The quality of that. Anyway. So I did wonder, no. After all that. And I love this one with the stripes as well. Okay, we've also got that banner in a chipboard form as well, and I love this here. I wonder if I think that might be a tad too big. Let's have a look. I quite like that there, actually. Because it is... Chef Mickey's is obviously Magic Kingdom. But then I like this. Oh, what to do? Can't use both of them. Okay, 
just going to play around and see where we end up. Okay. I'm like, I don't know what to go to. Okay, I think I'm going to save that for a Main Street photo. So I'm going to commit and I'm going to use this piece. I've been dying to use it for ages. Okay. And this was a day that we did a bit of everything, so it kind of works, I think. And I am going to pop it up here. Okay, so we've got it slightly on the black, but mostly on the red. Okay. Do you know when you're just stuck and you don't know what to do? So we need a cluster here, here, and here. That's what's on the sketch. Doesn't mean we have to, but that's where we're sort of going to base it. Okay. I'm not sure I like the different blues together there. Don't really need another title. Okay, what about... Um, let me try this. It might look rubbish, but that's okay. Daisy. So I'm just thinking whether that would just draw your eye to there, give you like a pop of colour. Quite like the look of that. There's a lot of black on this layout, but that's okay. Try and not glare it for you. But then. What else have we got? Do, do, do. Another black piece. Let's move away from the black. Move away. Okay, we've got a little camera piece there. Then, do, do, do. This little speech bubble keeps falling off. wonder if we could nestle it in there why not i've got these balloons and i do love some balloons on a disney layout so let's pop them there and dreams do come true i love that okay so we're just adding bits and bobs across the page really and dream got a smaller one of these actually so i'm going to pop the smaller puffy one on here there we go then i've got another little camera cameras work on all of these layouts perfectly best day ever every day at disney is best day ever as far as i'm concerned Then we've still got some more chipboard pieces here. See so, you now if I'd have thought I could have had a couple of frames there. Never mind, I'm gonna pop this one there then. So these chipboard pieces are from the adhesive brads pack. So you get 25 brads, which aren't brads, they're sticky beats, and seven chipboard pieces. Okay, and then we've got that one there. And I'm just going to keep layering a few pieces here and there. I'm not sure I've ever used so much of a new collection in one go, guys. Okay, and now I do want to get at least a flare on. So I'm thinking there. And flare a fab for adding things onto them as well. So 
We're gonna go there. And I'm gonna layer this little chipboard piece there that says my happy place. And then this blue is a perfect match to there. So I'd like to somehow get that on. Maybe there. And I will layer onto that as well. What have we got that would go there? Magic and wonder, there we go. Then... Doo -doo -doo. I actually really like this design. It's fun, it's different. And you get little, little areas. And I know mine is very different to the inspiration, but uh, that's what it's all about. For me, anyway. And then, I know we've already got best day ever there, but... Might have to buy this collection again at this rate. Okay. So if you've made a good dent in them already. Then we've got these... Um, I don't think we need anything else off there, okay. Now, I would have liked to have used these tickets and I feel like I need something down here. But I don't know what. What about... No, that's going to be too big. What about this red one? Here we go again with Echo Park frames. Am I the only one that finds issues with them? Maybe I am, because they keep making them. I think simple stories do the frames better, for sure. Okay, and I wondered, if, what if we do this? So, pop some glue on there. And then I'm sort of going to use the frame as a bit of a extra patterned area and then that's going to go there I'm going to leave that for a moment just to let it dry and then come back here and we've got the tickets there we've also got a ticket there I'm thinking is there a way of us so we've got Ticket to Fun Times, Dream Ticket and Magical Memories. And I kind of want to cluster them in. Something like so. So I need a little enamel, enamel, phone dot there. there. Excuse the dog's barking, well Milo barking again. Oh now Pippin's at it as well. Chris is dog sitting while I do this quickly. Okay, I love the way that looks actually, and we're not going to need much more at all. What I'm going to do is just trim this chipboard frame off there. That's quite tough. There we go. I will keep that because I could tuck that into a photo on another project. And then the obligatory enamel dots I think and then we're done uh, do, 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 do. my apologies again about the dogs okay so some enamel dots and then we're done guys so I'm gonna do my usual sprinkling of three threes I think we do like a three three Uh, um, if you've been on the fence about this collection, I would strongly recommend it. It's fabulous. Super happy with it. And that is going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for day five of 30 Days of Sketches and Dottie about Flare prompts. 
here is my layout for today. I really appreciate it. Do pop along to the description box down below, see what everybody else has been up to, and I will see you tomorrow for day six. Bye for now.